Okay, those of you out there in uh, the internet world today, we are gonna do another card game that you can play at home. And this card game is to practice your addition or subtraction skills. And this is appropriate for older kids because the um, because you're gonna be working on adding and subtracting to make 50. And that's not a skill that kindergarten students would be able to do. Um, you know, first graders may be able to try this. They might need some support. Second grade and up should certainly be able to do this game. So what we're gonna do is you would play with another person and each person gets four cards. So we have the deck. I have removed the face cards from the deck. So we just take four cards out. Whoops, I said I removed the face cards. I guess I wasn't telling the truth on that one. Okay, so this would be one hand. Then the other person would get this as their hand. Got some low numbers here. All right, so the idea, I'm gonna go back to the hand that I drew over here. The idea is that we want to make 50, either by adding or by subtracting. So I'm looking at these and I'm trying to figure out, okay, how can I possibly make close to 50? Now I'm looking at this very quickly. I'm trying to get this in a video and not bore you to tears. So I might not have the answer that's closest to 50, but I just see right now, if I have this as a two and a one, a 21, and a three and a four, that's 34. So 21 and 34 would be 55. So that's pretty close if I did this addition. So 21 plus 34 is 55. For students, you would definitely want them to write this down. So they're practicing. Most of them are probably gonna wanna write it vertically. Okay, now the other person over here Right now they have a three and a two and a one and a one. So I'm not gonna wanna do 32 plus 11. That's not gonna get me high enough, but I might switch these around. So I have 31 and 21. All right, so if I use addition for that, then 31 plus 21 is 52. So I write it over here, 31 plus 21 and all right, so if you're playing against another person, the second player was closer to 50, so they get one point. This person over here, they were not close to, closest to 50, so they get zero points. And you would keep playing this game until somebody earns five points. If a player gets exactly 50, then they earn two points for the game. So that way you can get a little bit quicker. Now, neither of these um, combinations here are gonna be great for subtraction. You would need to have some higher numbers. So if you, if you drew something like, let's say that this was a four that was drawn over here instead of a, let's see, you know, if we have a 41 and a 21, then you're like, mm, what am I gonna do with that? You know, you might do, well, actually that's not gonna get you to a subtraction situation either because you'd have to have numbers higher than 50. So I'm just gonna kind of look through my cards, see if I can find an example. Okay, this might be an example of one that would work. So in the combinations, if you had a 91 and a 41, look at that. 91 minus 41 would actually give you exactly 50. So this person could go 91 minus 41, that gives us 50, and that person would get two points for that hand. So that's how you can use subtraction to earn the points. So again, fun game to do, work on your addition and subtraction skills. Good for second grade and older. Um, you know, students get to choose whether they're adding and subtracting. And again, you play until somebody earns five points and then you can start over. You could also play this with more than two players. You could play it with three players. You could play it with four players. However, works best in your home right now. All right, I hope you enjoy the game Nifty 50.